For the trial involving Honolulu's longest-serving prosecutor has hit a crucial point. The alleged victim, who was charged with theft by Keith Kaneshiro's office, is on the stand testifying against him and her former employer. Lynn Kawano reports on why legal experts say she could be a deciding factor for the jury. Laurel Mao has already been on the stand for a day and a half, and the defense team hasn't even started cross-examination yet. Laurel Mao told the jury she didn't know that she was wanted in 2014 until bail bond companies started contacting her. There was an arrest warrant for multiple counts of felony theft, charges filed by the Honolulu prosecutor's office. Her mugshot was shown in court this week as Mao described defending herself in that criminal case, which a state judge ultimately threw out. The details are central to the federal trial for city prosecutor Keith Kaneshiro, who the government says targeted Mao in a exchange for campaign donations from engineering firm Mitsunaga and Associates. Mao was an architect at the firm, but was doing multiple side jobs, which firm executives reported as theft. If the jury is sympathetic to Mao and believes her story, then that's a huge step for the prosecution in convincing the jury that their theory of the case is correct. If she doesn't come across sympathetically and they don't like her, it can do a lot of damage to the prosecution and really help the defense. Mao detailed issues she had at the firm during her years there. The government showed the jury this letter from 2004 that Mao wrote to the head of the firm, defendant Dennis Mitsunaga. Mao says she was being sexually harassed, had reported it, but the behavior continued. The government had a list of 50 side jobs that Mao worked at the firm. She said she didn't get paid for all of them, and some were directed by the defendants or their family members. This is video of Mao when she was unexpectedly fired in 2011. Mitsunaga and Associates fought her unemployment benefits, which she ultimately won. She sued the firm for discrimination in 2012, losing that case in court in 2014. Later that year, she was charged with theft by Kaneshiro's office. Court records show his campaign received about $50,000 in donations from the firm and its employees during a four-year period leading up to his re-election in 2016. She's critical for the government, and they have to portray her as a victim. But for the defense, they're going to portray her as a thief, that she did do side jobs improperly on company time with company, company equipment without getting company's permission. Mao will be back on the stand when trial resumes on Monday. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Lynn.